I'm up on a roof measuring for a roof replacement estimate and this caught my eye so we're going to turn this into a little bit of a learning situation if you have a similar issue. So this 4 inch cast iron pipe doesn't come up out of the roof deck far enough to get a pipe boot on and you end up with a smeared tarred mess like this. So what I'm going to do figuring this estimate if we get the job we're definitely not going to put it back like this. I'm going to factor in the cost of a piece of wood right here to get down to the attic, cut it off and use a fern coat. If you're unaware what a fern coat is I'll leave a link in the description tag or something so you can check it out. It is an awesome product. Box stores everywhere around carry them, get them online. All it is really is a, an adapter. It's a rubber adapter that fits various sizes of pipes, two different types of pipes. So they make all kinds of them. You would get into the attic, cut this down low, and put the fern coat over it. It has a hose clamp that tightens up around the base. You put your other pipe you've bought the fern coat for in the opposite side, and a hose clamp tightens that down. The only amount of water that would go into the pipe would drain right through the fern coat, keep it all dry. Fern coats are not made for pressurable, uh, potable water, but for drains and things like this. So it's an awesome product. What that does is essentially get your roof, your pipe boot up higher, or your pipe up higher, extended off the roof deck, so you can get a pipe boot on it, give it a clean finished look. Your pipe is more important to be flashed to your roof than what little water goes into it. So a link in the description down below or a Google tag product if you're not sure what it is, check it out. Until next time, be safe. See you then.